your name and where you're from? Yes, my name is Aline Stevenson. I grew up in France, but I now live in Washington, D.C. And where did you volunteer? In which city and which project? In Shela at the orphanage. And what were your main tasks at the project? I spent most of my time in uh, the era of zero to five years old. There was always something to do there, uh, whether it was diapers, cuddling a baby, um, dealing with three two-year-olds with one game at a time, <laughs> uh, organizing games, uh, there was plenty to do. And then I also spent time with the teenage girls. Uh, there it was more about having a friendly ear, understanding better their difficulties uh, here in Guatemala as they grow up without a family, um, trying to find encouraging words for them. Uh, they were always very curious about life in the U.S. too, and they liked talking about that. Um, and how was your volunteer experience in general? I loved every moment of it. I had prepared myself for it to be hard in the sense of being in so close touch to poverty and that part was tough but I tried to focus on what I could do with the kid I had in front of me at that moment and that really helped. Um, and how was your accommodation like? I loved being with a host family. Uh, the mom was really nice. She always had great food for when I came back and it was nice to have a family atmosphere for when I came back from the day at the orphanage and I could ask all my cultural questions at meals and they were helpful with the maps of the city and all of that. Good. And how was the support and the coordination from abroad of you, both in the U.S. and here on location? It was great. After a few days here in Chile, I got an email from Sarah in the U.S. Uh, from abroad of you asking how I was doing. I was really surprised. Um, and the couple here in Shela who takes care of the organization was great also if I wanted to organize a weekend trip, uh, some tourism, or if I had questions about my work at the orphanage, uh, they were always available. And do you have a favorite memory of the trip? Um, I think each kid is my favorite memory. I'm bringing back a lot of very treasured memories of the time I've spent with each one of them. Uh, and I also have to add, I was able to summit the Tajamuco volcano, and that was a great experience. I'm bringing back all the beautiful views from that summit with me. Um, and would you recommend this program to future volunteers, and do you have any tips for them, maybe? I would definitely recommend the broader view, uh, because of the, I felt always very well accompanied, and everything was well organized, safe. Um, and as a tip, I think it's important to arrive with a very open mind to a different culture, uh, a very beautiful culture, but very different. So having an open mind has really helped me to accept things as they are, not thinking that I could change everything, but that I could still give myself to each